Hey there everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Lauren of Lauren Makes Plans and today I am here to plan out the week of Monday, April 15th through Sunday, April 21st in my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. So first off, as you can see, I have had a cover change for the month of April. Um, this is a little bit of an older cover. I can tell because it has my name on it, but I don't think it's too old. Um, I think it might have been my 2021 planner cover possibly um sounds about right somewhere in that time frame so this may still be available on the website i'm not completely sure but um another thing to notice is that it won't lay flat it won't close because we're getting very close to the end and we're getting pretty chunky over here that is why friends that i order an 18 month planner and rip out the last six months because even after i ripped out the last six months on this 18 month coil it still won't close all the way by the end of the year so that's fun so also i have this kit from planner kate for this week which is mini kit 619 i have the add-on 15 which is just the basic labels add-on 11 which is the sidebar add-on one which is the ec hourly strip headers um, add-on six, which is the thin washi strips. Sheet D, the EC hourly checklists and labels. Um, the sampler sheet and the full box sheet. I love this kit with the little bees. I think it's so cute. I'm really excited to use it. I really love especially some of the other added in colors for this kit in the whole color scheme. So I'm excited about that. So we'll jump straight in. First, I'll show you what this current week is turning out looking like and if you're like wait a minute I've never seen that before you're right because there was not a plan with me filmed for this um, for this kit this spread this week there was not a video filmed for that and the week before you're like oh wait I haven't seen that either you're correct you haven't seen this week either there was a plan with me filmed for this one it never um, made it into even the beginning stages of editing and so that happened. So let me explain a little bit. Um, the last thing that you guys will have seen will be my April plan with me. That should have gone up this past Thursday. So if you have not seen that, go check it out. Um, I really love this kit and how this turned out. And I did film, like I said, a plan with me for this first week of April. But we had so much going on. It was a very busy week. Um, this was whenever we did our ARC trip. I spent... The first three days of the week um, getting things ready to go on the trip and then we left um, pretty early Thursday morning we spent all day in the car it was a jam-packed couple days to be able to hit everything at both of these things and then we the people that were riding in my car because we carpooled we decided to take the long way home so that way we could go through Tennessee and go to Bucky's because some of the girls that were riding with us, one had never been to Bucky's and two had never been to Tennessee. And if you follow my channel for a while, you know my obsession with Tennessee and I couldn't have that. So obviously we took them through Tennessee and to Bucky's. So this plan with me never got edited. It never got uploaded. I apologize for that, but it was just what was best for me personally in that week to just be in the moment and having a great time with the people from our church. So that was a super great trip. I did upload a couple of TikTok videos. They are here on my YouTube channel as shorts. They are also on my Instagram. Um, go check those out. I've got one for one day at the Creation Museum and one for the Ark Encounter. Highly, highly recommend that trip. It was great. So then this week, currently that I'm filming on, it is Thursday. Um, we got home late Sunday night and I had a lot to do Monday and Tuesday. I know it doesn't look like a lot because it just says run errands, but there was, there was just a lot going on and we were exhausted and I didn't get this plan with me. Like I didn't actually get this week planned out for myself, um, in a super great manner of time. I don't even remember what day I actually planned it on, but I know it wasn't Monday and just kind of coming off of everything and exhausted and brain frazzled and my house was a disaster and suitcases everywhere. I just needed a minute of chill to not have to talk through this whole thing. So I just planned this out on my own. And so that is the first two weeks of April. And now we're ready to jump into planning out this third week 
back on the camera where it's supposed to be and hopefully making it through the editing stages and actually up into YouTube land. But, oh, I forgot one thing I forgot. I really loved this April showers kit specifically for the week of the Ark Encounter because the Ark Encounter, it's all about the flood and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. So how perfect is the April showers rain kit for the Ark Encounter? Just wanted to throw that in there because I said it in the video that never made it up on YouTube and I just wanted you guys to know that that's why I picked that kit for that week because I was obsessed with it. So, now that's an update on the last two weeks of my life. How have you guys been? I have been trying to stay um, fairly active on social media, even if I was not um, posting full-length videos on YouTube. Like I said, I did upload a few times to TikTok. And if you're not on TikTok, um, everything that I post on TikTok. I also will post on my Instagram. Um, I also will post on my journaling disciples, Bible journaling, Facebook page. So if you don't follow those, you should go follow me on, um, TikTok, Instagram, or my journaling disciples, Facebook account. But a lot of those videos, I try if I can to put them up on YouTube as shorts, but YouTube will not allow me to upload anything longer than 60 seconds. So that makes it kind of hard to put everything that I put on TikTok up on YouTube. Um, so I would just go, if I were you, make sure that you were following along either on Instagram or TikTok or my Journaling Disciples Facebook page, um, and you'll be able to see all the shorts and reels and TikTok videos, they're all the same thing, but whatever each different social media site decides to call them, you'll be able to see them all up in those places. But the ones that I did do for our trip um, are up on YouTube. All right, so let's get the date headers put down. For some reason, that looks like it's a little short. Maybe it was just cut a little funky. I don't know. It'll be okay. Ooh, I think I almost ripped that one. So, let's talk about EC launch day. Because that's what the rest of the planner community is currently buzzing about. Is um, not the Ark Encounter, like me. But... EC launch day for the 2024-2025 Life Planner launch. I'm trying to decide which one of these skinny washi strips I want to use. I think I'm going to use the dots because they are really cute. And I do have a bigger dotted washi one that I could use for the weekend banner. But there's like a daisy one that I'd rather use for the weekend manner. So we'll use the dots up here. Anyways, let's talk about Life Planner launch. So at this point, um, all the sneaks have been put out. And actually by the time that you see this video, it will be um, general public launch day. You see Insider launch day is Monday the 15th and this video will go up Tuesday the 16th, which will be launch day for the general public. So if you are shopping launch day, tell me what have you ordered? What are you ordering? What are your plans to order? What are you going with this year? Um, they have three different design options. Um, they have the Evolve, which is another, the typical EC colorful um, design option, which they always have. Um, this one that I have, this current planner that I have is the EC Inspire, which was the 2023-2024 um, colorful option, which was designed by Etta V. And this year, the Evolve colorful option is also designed by Etta V. So it's very, um, it's, it's not very similar as in like it's the same pattern by like with this whole swirly thing. Um, but it is designed by 
the same artist. So it'll have some of the same vibes and the same feels to it, which I have loved this one. I really like Edivy's patterns and designs and colors and things. So I really like it. So the, the new colorful this year is designed by the same artist. It's really pretty. It's called Evolve. I really like that one. Um, but then they have a new one called Bold Blooms, which is they typically will do a colorful uh, floral and then like a neutral. And the Bold Blooms is this year's floral. And I love it. Y'all know I love dark, deep greens. And like the main color on the whole color palette of it is just, ugh, I love it. Um, but one of the main colors on it is the dark, deep green, which is totally, totally my jam. Um, but I was looking and I was watching a couple other review videos yesterday. Um, Jennifer Crowder from Happy Place Planning has an, um, Bold Blooms, has a Bold Blooms Hourly that she got for review, which is what I would get. And I did not love, I loved a lot of things about it. Even the, like the monthly spread was way minimal. It was much more minimal than what EC typically does on one of their patterned monthly spreads that's not like just the plain neutral. But they went back several, several years ago. Um, I believe it was the kaleidoscope design theme where they, um, everything was the hexagons and was the kaleidoscope pattern. A lot of people really loved the colors and the kaleidoscope design for the EC, but one, there were hexagons everywhere and they were very hard to cover and that was kind of frustrating. But a lot of people went with the neutral planner, I included, went with the neutral planner that year, even though we loved the colorful version because there was so much color shading. So, and like, let me know in the comments if you were around during the kaleidoscope time period and you know what I'm talking about. But on like the monthly spread, it was like your whole entire sidebar and all your dates that were not a part of the month were shaded in in the color of the month. So like this and this for June would have been, instead of being white, it was shaded in in the June green or like in the July blue and the September, like it was, it was insane amount of shading. There were also, there was also a lot of shading on the actual weekly pages. So like, Instead of just having this little bit of color here at the top, all this down here at the bottom was shaded in. It, they just, they went nuts with shading that year. And because of that, myself and a lot of other people bought the neutral version that year. I didn't want to use the habit tracker because it's already, it's not Monday. The week's already mostly over. But we bought the neutral version that year, even though we liked the colorful design because of all the shading. So I really liked the Bold Blooms. It was very minimal on the monthly spread and everything, but they brought back the shading. It's not as bad as it was in years past, so your days that are part of the months are not shaded, but your sidebar is shaded, along with big floral patterns that are kind of hard to cover. So as much as I love the Bold Blooms, I'm not going Bold Blooms. Um, I may get some of the Bold Blooms accessories, I'm not sure, because I really like the bold blooms patterns but all that shading is not my jam the other option they have for this year is the canvas which is a true true neutral everything is black and white your tabs are gray there is no color anywhere this is all just white 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 across the top like this like these pages are white or gray with like their little asterisk designs on it. It's very, very neutral. And a lot of people have been asking for a true neutral for a long, long time. And last year they finally delivered and they've brought it back this year. So let me know in the comments which pattern you're, or which design you're going with, which layout option you're going with. And I will let you guys know um, what I'm gonna go with.
All right, there's all the full boxes down. These are just like the cutest things I've ever seen. This is just so stinking cute. Also, I don't know what I was thinking with this whole habit tracker situation because I put it down and was like, no, the week's almost over. So I'm not going to put it down. And I'm thinking about this past week because I feel I planned it out late and that's why I didn't use the habit tracker. But this week's not going to be late because it's next week. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. Like, it's fine. I just, I don't feel like dealing with the habit tracker at the moment. Okay. Let's see here. Now, I do know that everyone has school like normal next week. So let's put Judson's preschool down on these darker greenish teal ones. I like those a lot. And then I'm going to put videos up on Monday, no, on Tuesday and Thursday. So this plan with me will go up on Tuesday. And then I'm going to try to do a Bible journaling video for Thursday. Oh my gosh, I love those colors. They're just so cute, so cute. And then Monday will be... Business as usual, as well as it being EC launch day. So I'm going to put launch day in at the top. And I think we'll put it on this one because it's so cute. Launch day. And then I will do the thing. And then my usual grocery run on Monday. And that's it. There's no ball on Monday, so that's great. Okay. So then Tuesday, also normal, Judson will have speech therapy. And then Kennedy has a ball game. And I have Bible study. Those game, those days always, these are going to be, it's just going to be fun all the way through April. So this is her ball game at, no, her ball game comes first. So Bible study is at 6.30. And her ball game is at 6. Wednesday. Wednesday, I will have to do the fuel up shopping. Put it on this one, which I almost ripped. And then church. Thursday. Kennedy has a ball game at Goldston at 6. Was there something else on that day? No, there was something on Friday. Yeah, and Judson has a ball game on Friday. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'm going to change this because I want to use this one for church on Sunday morning, which I'll just go ahead and stick over here. And then we'll put his ball game. Put his ball game on the coral colored one. I think that's it for Thursday and Friday. Yeah. And then Saturday, we have um, a church work day. 
because we're building a new playground at our church. And that's Saturday. And then Sunday is church. And then Sunday school. And play day. All right, so now there are other things I know I have to go back and put in. So I'll have to figure out a time for laundry and house cleaning. And I'm thinking, let me see, I know Thursday I'm gonna be filming. I'm actually gonna use this one. I just think the little honeycombs are so cute. I also have to remember to drop off the fuel up bags on Thursday. And then I'm gonna do laundry day on Friday. And let's do So let's just do house cleaning on Thursday too. And then I'll have to do editing on Monday. And then also on Wednesday. I'm gonna go ahead and put my little check boxes in for filming. I'm gonna turn it upside down so I can, because this box is already yellow, like the half box I'm using is already yellow. I'm gonna cut off the yellow check box and use the other colors so it stands out a little more. All right, I think that's it as far as I know for those stickers. So I'm gonna get off the sampler sheet. Have you guys been hanging on cliffhanger this whole time because I said that I was gonna tell you what planner I'm going with and then I stopped talking about it. So we talked about all the different um, talk about all the different like design options, but they actually have a bunch of different layouts this year. They have their typical, um, hourly vertical and horizontal, which they've had forever. They still have the daily duo in the A5 and the seven by nine, but they've refreshed it for the first time. I think since it was released, they refreshed the daily duo, which people have been asking for, for a long time for them to update the Daily Duo pages because they usually don't. And they finally took away that daggum mini calendar that everybody has hated for a long time that shows up on every single day. It's not there anymore. So that's an exciting day for Daily Duo users. They also have included a weekly overview spread in the Daily Duo. So with every week, you get a Monday through Friday weekly overview page. It's not like a full spread like this, but it's like a page where it's like, Monday through Sunday, and then like a checklist situation, which is pretty cool because people have been asking for that and to get rid of that dang mini calendar page for a long, or that dang mini calendar for a long, long time. And they finally did that, which is really cool. Um, and then they also have and see if there's anything else I need off here. I don't think there is. But they've also decided um, the compact vertical that they released last year. I need to trim this. That they also released um, in the 22-23 launch. It was only released in the A5. Um, and a lot of people have been wanting it in a 7x9. And they have finally released the compact vertical in a seven by nine layout, which is really cool. 
for the compact vertical users. I really liked the year that I used the compact vertical myself. Um, I enjoyed it. The hourly is just my jam though. So with that being said, I am definitely going back hourly for next year. Um, it's just what I prefer. I'll leave the tweezers out. So I'm going back with an hourly. The question is, is am I going to go with the not going bold blooms? I already said that because of all the shading. But am I going to be going with the canvas or with the colorful evolve pattern? And I actually think that I'm really feeling the canvas vibes this year. I think I'm going to go neutral. I'm going to get the canvas. Um, I really actually even like a lot of the canvas. Oh, look, this is our last sticker on this sheet. Oh, that's so exciting. Now watch this. Just get that. So exciting whenever you use a whole sheet of stickers. Anyways, um, I actually really like a lot of the canvas accessories. And it's very, um, very minimal, very clean looking. And it's really nice for sticker users because I have not had trouble covering things up in this planner um, that I wanted to cover but one thing is like you can kind of see on my monthly spread here in the coil where the design goes into the coil and you can still see it it doesn't really bother me all that much but I'm just really I don't know I'm just really liking the look and the feel of the canvas planner this year so I think I'm going to go canvas hourly that could change before launch day because I'm going to go probably watch some more review videos because that's what we do is we go watch videos of people reviewing planners over and over again um, and see kind of what I think that may change before launch day but at the current moment I'm really feeling the canvas hourly is, is what I'm feeling so we'll see how it goes come launch day but I think that's what I'm going to do now, where are my icons? So, let's see. Color-wise, this week. We can go probably mostly yellow this week. I will for sure, whenever um, my order comes in, I will definitely do like a video for you guys of what all I ordered, um, like a haul video of what I got from launch day. I think that's a peach one, but I think it's okay. What all I ordered from launch day and I'll um, possibly do like a setup video like I did last year, different things before we go into the new planner year. But definitely let me know in the comments what you ordered from launch day, what you're planning on ordering, what you have ordered, what you're gonna use this year. If you just followed my channel for Bible journaling content and now you're stuck with all these plan with me's, let me know. <laughs> Which I have been trying to, um, whoop, been trying to do a lot more Bible journaling content that seems very popular on my channel. I really enjoy making the Bible journaling content and I think you guys really enjoy watching it. So I am trying to do those, if not weekly, at least every other week, but I'm trying to do them more regularly for sure so i hope you guys enjoy the bible journaling content because i don't have plans to stop bible journaling content all right 
I think that's everything I needed off this side. Let's fill in the gaps and see what's left. Whoa, I keep knocking my tripod with my tweezers. Okay, I need something for a cleaning house, laundry, and the fuel up bags. I don't know that I'm gonna put anything down for the church work day. I just don't know that I have anything to put down, like anything to put for that. Okay. So I think that's it as far as stickers go. Oh, this kid is just so cute. Oh, I love it. Okay. I'm going to fill all this stuff in with my Cultivate What Matters 0 0.5 gel pen that I'm still working on finishing up. This is the last one I have left of this pack and I have absolutely loved these. So I'm gonna um, fill all this stuff in with this pen and come right back. So I think that's everything all filled in. Um, at the current moment, I'm not sure of any to-dos. It kind of depends on what I get done at the end of this current week that I'm still in. Like, I still have a couple things that I need to do. I actually did do this. So I still have a couple things I need to work on. And so what I have left to put over here will depend on that. And then I'll fill in my meal plan later whenever I do that. So this is how this week has turned out. I really, really like this kit. I think it is just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I post new videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.